Hey guys, Ian from Eurogamer here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at Wreck-It Ralph for the Wii. Look at his little face there. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph for the Wii was released last week on February the 1st, a whole week ahead of the UK release of the Wreck-It Ralph movie. Which, as I'll go on to explain, is a pretty bad thing, because the very first five seconds, basically the opening cutscene of this game spoils the entire movie. This game is set after uh, the uh, events of the movie and uh, literally as soon as you play the opening cutscene uh, you get the whole movie ruined for you so if you haven't seen it yet, if you're looking forward to uh, watching the movie, don't get this game yet. And uh, to be honest, this game is a huge wasted opportunity and probably a contender for one of the worst games of 2013 already. So it's probably maybe a good idea you don't pick it up at all. Um, let me just select Profile 1, which I've already started playing on. Uh, now, uh, I know that movie licenses, movie tie-ins always get bad rep and that they're kind of expected to be bad, but it's almost like... Disney or whoever made this game uh, or Activision thought to themselves oh movie licenses are going to be bad anyway so we might as well just make a bad one anyway and uh, you know people all just they're used to it now and so they they have made a really bad game and a hugely wasted opportunity. I love the look of the kind of menus they look very kind of retro already uh, with the kind of pixel art Wreck-It Ralph and stuff uh, but yeah that's as far as it goes uh, retro wise considering Wreck-It Ralph is meant to be a retro game it would have been cool if it there was a retro kind of themed uh, game to it, maybe the actual fe Fix It, Feel It Junior game and stuff, but there isn't. There's a cheat menu, uh, you enter numbers, you can't even enter the Konami code as far as I can tell, um, which would be a nice little retro uh, in-joke. If we check out the story mode, I'm going to resume my game. Uh, I haven't played too much. Like I said, uh, the start... <laughs> the start cutscene literally ruins the whole movie, so I'm not going to show you that uh, because, uh, well, you know, I was looking forward to the film, but now I know how it ends. I might not bother going to see it. Um, yeah, so there's three uh, worlds you can choose from anyway in uh, in this area, which uh, is like Game Central or something. Uh, Sugar Rush is um, in the movie. Sugar Rush is a uh, a, a racetrack. Uh, and then there's Heroes Duty, which is a Call of Duty kind of future first-person shooter uh, in-joke kind of thing. And then there's Fix-It uh, Felix Jr., which is obviously the uh, Wreck-It Ralph's game, the retro game. Now, what I thought would have been good was that they made Fix-It Felix Jr. as the retro version of the game. And then Heroes Duty maybe as a first-person shootery bit. And then Sugar Rush as a racing game. But no, each portion of the game is a really, really bad uh, <laughs> platformer. Um, let me just enter Fix-It Felix Jr. Uh, fix it Felix Jr. I'll go straight into level two. Uh, hopefully we'll see one of the stellar cutscenes that uh, happens in the game. Uh, you may notice okay, if we do. Here we go. Oh no, no cutscene. Uh, <laughs> the cutscenes are awful. Let me uh, go back to Game Central Station quickly, so you can see the cutscene and hear the really bad John C. Riley impersonation. Let's check out Heroes Duty quickly. Can't wait. I'm excited. Are you excited? You should be. You're about Where? Where is everybody? All the troopers are missing. Where is Sergeant? <laughs> so this is the uh, the cutscene. Look, I am sure she's just. Fine. Looks like Everyone random kind of character well, art from the game, just randomly photoshopped in we need to do is random places. He doesn't even fit there. He's maybe could have put him on the platform, or maybe put Ralph on on the platform there. But Go to the no, they're just rooms of the cybugs and destroy stuck them all? randomly. I was gonna say run away. And uh, yeah, obviously the bad John C. Riley impression. Come on, Ralph. Once more run to the breach, dear friend. Once more. What is it about war games that brings lines like that out of people? Uh, let's go. So obviously trying to save some cash by not uh, paying John C. Riley to do the huh? game, uh, or maybe just re point blank refused huh? when he saw what was going on huh? with it. But yeah, as you can see, it is a huh? platformer, uh, a very bad platformer. The gra the graphics are uh, well, they're they're Wii graphics, so they're an ST anyway. But no expense, actually, every expense has been spared to make it look nice. Uh, it's really kind of scruffy. To control 
it makes no use whatsoever uh, f of the Wiimote's functionality. Uh, the only time you ever use the Wiimote's pointer or shaking ability, well, you don't use a shaking uh, option of the uh, the Wii U at all. Uh, the only time you ever really use the pointer bit is in the menus, and the rest of the time you're playing. Uh, just as this platformer. So yeah, Heroes Duty could have been a cool little first-person shooter bit, um, but it's not. It's just a plain old boring platformer. Fix it, Felix. There can fix stuff. You just hold down a button and stand in front of it. There's no little mini games or anything that might, uh, um, you know, pad things out a little bit. You swap. Uh, you swap between your characters by pressing okay, down on the go. direction pad. Felix is more manoeuvrable than Ralph, but Ralph has got punching abilities, he can break bro blocks and such, and uh, also grab and drag them, where and Felix has, he's agile, he can double jump, and uh, yeah, he can just fix things by standing next to them. Oh, it's, it's a very dire game, and I would... Uh, even from only playing a tiny bit, I can tell that I... What's going on here? Oh, what? Ah, come on. <laughs> I can tell that anyone uh, wanting to buy this will be severely disappointed. Your money's not going to be uh, well spent. That's for sure. It's so bland, boring, and... The fact that you have to pull that lever and then jump back on is... is it's the game so badly designed. Go away. I hit him with a hammer there. There are some Easter eggs to pick up, but they're literally just... Um, really... They're just caricatures of Easter eggs. They're, they're, there's no... This, oh, it's just such a wasted opportunity to make a really cool retro in-joke game. Um, and what we're left with is... Uh, this ball showing, um, which isn't even challenging, and from what I can gather from what I've looked up about it on the internet, you can clear the whole game in approximately two hours, so you really do get value for money. Uh, that's kind of like a, a possibly a little in-joke to Mega Man or something, maybe? Uh, yeah, maybe a little Mega Man in-joke there, but that's as far as it goes. Come on. Combat is uh, top notch in this game. And those collectibles, I guess you get an extra life if you get 100. I don't know. I don't really want to know. I'm actually quite depressed. Uh, no, that's it. I can't bring myself to play anymore. If you're a massive fan of the movie, then maybe it's worth picking up. But it's. I don't know, there's nothing really uh, like the movie in there. Uh, none of the actors, as far as I can tell, play any of the characters. Uh, it's set right after the movie, so it'll spoil everything for you if you haven't seen the movie. And uh, it's just a very bad game that probably is pretty much worse than most kind of cheapo mobile games and stuff that I've played for a while. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, I think that's enough for me. I'm going to take the disc out of the Wii now, and uh, I'm going to wreck it! Did you get it? Because it's wreck it Ralph, and he wrecks... Oh god, this game's rubbish. It's okay to be a bad guy. Yeah, but it's not okay to be a bad game, Ralph. Especially if you're a game based on a movie about video games. Ah. Oh.